In this year's competition, one of the riders who was crowned a world champion is bringing the title back to Panama City. It is huge. Um, my other passion is fishing, and it's about like landing a blue marlin. <laughs> Ashley Young grew up riding horses, and from the age of eight, she enjoyed showing them competitively. But the last time she got on the saddle to compete was 12 years ago, until this past August, when her dad called her to ask if she would compete for him in the Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration in Tennessee, because he tested positive for COVID-19. He said, Ashley, he said, I think that you can do it. Bill thinks that you can do it. Will you do it? And I wanted to say no because I was so nervous. Um, but I said yes because you just, you can't say no to your dad, right? So Young got ready to compete. She bought her riding suit, boots and spurs the day before the competition and got to practice a bit with her horse, King Thing. She wasn't too nervous about riding him, as he's a five-time world champion and five-time reserve grand world champion, too, and trained by Bill Calloway. But the little practice she got with him wasn't nearly as much as the other riders there. That horse doesn't know me. I didn't really know that horse, but <laughs> the good Lord just let us get along that night. <laughs> Young and King Thing definitely got along and went up against 10 other impressive horses and riders and won the Owners Amateur Riders on Walking Stallions World Championship. And so when they called out my name, actually they didn't even call my name, they called the wrong number and they called my dad's name, um, but they said my horse's name so I knew that I had won and um, it was just, a, you know, I've, I've won two other world championships but this definitely was was my favorite one because it meant so much. It meant more for Young because of her uncle Scott. He loved showing horses with her dad and was supposed to be there. But since he was battling cancer, he was not well enough to go. Instead, he got to see his niece take home that blue ribbon the day before he passed away. Um, I, I was able to tell him I did it for you, Uncle Scott. And, um, and I got another blue for you. And, and I know he hurt me. Young says now she's back in the saddle. She plans on competing some more in the future. Well, over